106.7 WIZN, that's Ram Jam and Black Betty. Heard Billy Squire before that. I'm Joe Vega taking you through your Wednesday rock and ride home. At the top of the hour, the stay-at-home order that Vermont Governor Phil Scott signed yesterday went into effect and uh, brought my friend Ben Barry from Martin Harding and Mazzotti onto the program to talk about those details. Ben, how you doing? Joe, I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing good. Well, uh, obviously, you know, tough time for everybody right now. But I just wondered if you could explain to us uh, what this order entails other than the obvious. You know, the stay home, stay safe. You're supposed to stay at home. But uh, what happens, let's say, if you get pulled over and you're not doing something essential? Um, specifically, Joe, I think that if you are pulled over and you are not performing an essential task, or going to the grocery store, or some other essential function, I think it's likely that whatever law enforcement agent pulled you over will ask you to return home and kind of comply with the governor's order. I do not think that there will be any consequence, for example, being held in contempt of the order or any other criminal charge that would flow from a clear violation of the order The order itself does not indicate that there is a consequence for violating the order. It's really a public health and safety measure, and so it is really advisory in its spirit and and hopeful that people will comply with it because it is of such a level that the governor has issued this order. As have other states, New York has um, an order in place. I think Vermont is the 17th state to have an order of right. this magnitude that's been um, enforced by the governor. Um, and so, really, I think it's important that the people who can stay home and work from home actually do it. And what are considered essential businesses? The obvious are certainly essential. Grocery stores, gas stations. The governor um, has an advisory panel that's been established. There is a number that you can call to determine who's essential and who's non-essential, what businesses are considered essential. Um, and so I would encourage businesses that have questions to direct them to uh, that telephone number. Uh, mm-hmm. You can find it on the government website. But I think it's really sort of geared towards those things that are essential to maintain your home life. All right, Ben. Well, thanks a lot for coming on and explaining that to us. Ben Berry from Martin Harding and Mazzotti. Thank you, Joe. You can call Ben at any time at 1-800-LAW-1010 or go online to 1-800-LAW-1010.com. All right, I'm getting on out of here. Mel Allen's taking over. He's got music from Guns N' Roses and Bachman Turner Overdrive next.